It is great news. They are heroes of Ukraine. They have amazed the world with their courage and their tenacity, and it is great to see them come out of there. As you said, though, it's still a tense situation that will continue. See it playing out, Michael. Well, the Mariupol pocket, if you will, is a strategic position that the Russians need if they want to build a land bridge all the way across southern Ukraine so that they can then support their forces in Crimea and their situation in Crimea. Therefore, symbolically, it demonstrates the tenacity of the Ukrainian defense, but strategically, the Russians need Mariupol, and they need to be seen as completely controlling it. So the soldiers who are holding out in the steel plant there are really stalling anything that the Russians want to do and really energizing the Ukrainian defense right across Ukraine. So it is strategically important, but it's great to see these guys come out. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and we've heard overnight that there were suggestions there was nothing more defensively that the soldiers could do from within uh, Mariupol. Um, and, you know, a lot of them expected to die there. Um, but as I was saying in my first question to you, lots of them in Russian-controlled areas, and the hope is, and President Zelensky saying this, that there could be some sort of swap taking place, but he wants them, specifically has said, we want our heroes to be sent back alive. How much of a transactional thing is this going to be? Um, and, you know, how much can the Russians be relied upon to act in good faith in this situation? Well, yes, Isabel, you're absolutely right. It is transactional. The whole situation in the war in Ukraine is very dynamic as each side tries to improve their position on the ground so that they can improve their negotiating position. I think this tells us that the Russians see a need to start to build some goodwill. They are they have been sort of digging in for the long haul in the areas which they've already uh, taken, knowing that the Ukrainians are going to counterattack them significantly once they get a, a refreshed set of Western weapons. And therefore, the Russians are trying to build some goodwill. They're trying to demonstrate uh, things that they haven't demonstrated in the past and that they are going to abide by the rules of war. And so I would expect that there will be a prisoner swap. The Ukrainians have a significant number of Russian prisoners. The Russians would not be able to argue away in the style of propaganda that they're used to uh, what would happen to these soldiers if they're not brought back alive. And so I would definitely see a transactional prisoner swap that at a time when Russia sees it in their interest to do so.